At BodarX, we've been installing a bunch of battery-powered air conditioners, uh, specifically from Thermodynamica, which is a company in Italy. They make this really efficient marine air conditioner that runs on 24 volts out of batteries. And uh, i got to be honest, when I first saw the specifications that they were providing about this unit, saying that it could make uh, remove 16,000 BTUs of heat on just 700 watts, I didn't believe them. And so what I want to do today is show you our latest install here on an Axopar 37 Suntop, um, just to show you that it's true. And uh, what I have here are my Testo smart probes. Um, I have two uh, temperature probes, one here in the uh, supply duct and the other here in front of our air handler that's in this cabinet uh, for a return air temperature. And um, we're here in this small forward cabin. We have all the hatch wide open um, to purposefully allow warm air to come in the cabin. And I'm going to show you also with this uh, anemometer, uh, we're able to measure the velocity coming out of the duct. And with all these figures, supply air, return air, and uh, the supply velocity uh, and volume rather in CFMs, we're able to calculate the system capacity in BTUs per hour and just show you uh, how much we're doing. So I've already got the system ramped up. It is variable speed. We're going to show you it on the highest speed, the highest power level. And I'm going to go into my app here and first measure my uh, volume of flow. So this knows it's a four inch duct and the top figure here uh, will show the CFMs. So I'm going to take this little windmill here and try and get it just in the, in the right spot. Okay, so that's uh, about the flow we're getting uh, in volume. We'll call it about 305. Okay, I'm going to put my anemometer down. We're going to keep the fan speed the same. We're going to go into our cooling and heating load uh, calculation. Uh, we actually have our, our volume flow here set at 300, so you just saw 305 coming out. We'll leave that at 300. Um, our return air temperature is uh, 74.8 degrees. That's, that's dropping in here pretty quickly. Uh, and our supply are 48.6 degrees. So we're using the Testo Smart Probes app to calculate our system capacity. And you can see right here, we're in the high 15s, uh, almost 16,000 BTUs. Uh, the last thing I want to show also is the power. Um, we're at full power, maximum fan, and uh, maximum compressor speed. Our Victron Energy battery monitor here is displaying uh, the current being consumed. So we're, we have, we have no charging. We're not plugged into the dock. We don't have any engines running. Uh, and we have tw 25, 26 amps being drawn by the unit. Uh, that's at 24 volts. And uh, with a 100 amp hour battery in there, we're able to do this uh, a little over two hours. Uh, in eco mode, uh, it's half the power, uh, similar amount of cooling, and uh, we, we double our run time. Um, so we're well over four hours uh, without any charging sources present. And that's very sufficient uh, to keep this small cabin very, very cold, probably like 68, 70 degrees on an 80 degree day.